Have you ever invested in a company that failed? Are you tired of making trades that only result in losses? If yes, then you need to watch this video. In this video, you will learn about something that will improve your decisions, which will only lead to you making better investments and taking better trades. Sounds good? Watch this video till the end. Hello guys, this is Shweta and welcome to the world of Wall Street Mojo. What is base rate fallacy? Many investors and traders fall for something known as base rate fallacy. It is a key concept in behavioral finance and it was pioneered by two Israeli psychologists, Daniel Kahneman and Amos Tversky. So you might wonder, what is this concept and why should you know about it? Before I answer that, I want to ask you a question. If say Apple released its earning and it was poor, will you stop buying Apple shares and will you sell all Apple shares from your portfolio? You will take the decision based on two things. On one hand, you have Apple, the most innovative company of all times and all the amazing things they have done and will continue doing. On the other hand, you have just got their earnings, which wasn't good. Maybe they didn't sell many iPhones or Macs. It could be anything. Revenues fell and so did profits. What do you do? If you said that you would sell Apple, you fall for the base rate fallacy. Now with the example in context, let's see what base rate fallacy is. Base rate fallacy is a human tendency to give more importance to particularly small data over a large set of data that sets the base rate. Let's bring the example here again. Small size data is the earnings report of Apple and the large set of data or the base rate is the fact that Apple is the most innovative company in the world and they will keep doing well in the future. Do you understand what's happening here? A person falling for the base rate fallacy is basically giving more importance to some readily available new piece of information, but they are disregarding the past information that sets the overall context. Hence, base rate fallacy refers to people misjudging events by focusing on events that they feel are more relevant and they ignore events that are in turn the most relevant. All of this results in an error of judgment, which explains why investors or traders make bad investing or trading decisions and incur huge losses. Let's take some more example to understand this concept better. Suppose there is a company with a poor track record and you know that the company hasn't benefited investors for a long time. Now suddenly the company released an amazing result and everyone is getting excited for them and buying the stock. People are falling for the base rate fallacy here. They are giving more importance to current information and are not looking at the overall picture that the company has had a poor track record. Yes, the company may have a turnaround from here and maybe on the way of doing something great. But is one good earning report enough to completely change sentiment towards this company? We don't think so. And it's just too risky. You have already seen some examples of base rate fallacy in finance. But let me tell you that it will apply even in business, legal, medical settings, etc. Wherever people have to decide or arrive at any conclusion, base rate fallacy will probably be there. Well, now I am assuming you have a question in your mind. How can you overcome this fallacy? This fallacy results from an inbuilt human nature of making decisions in haste and without thinking deeply. But here is how you can avoid falling for the fallacy if you are an investor or a trader. Firstly, you should stop making decisions based on the information and consider the overall context set by past data. Secondly, if you want to invest in any stock or other financial instrument, you should do that with a long-term mindset. It will allow you to think deeply and not rush into it. Finally, if you do not have much investing experience, you can consider consulting someone with ample knowledge and experience in investing. This will save you from making poor investment decisions and costing you money. So this was all about base rate fallacy and we hope that after watching this video, you will avoid taking losses because of poor decisions. If you liked what you have learned, give the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.